Quick, run. Where do I go? Why is she sauntering? What have you gotten yourself into, Kathy? Hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. Oh no, wait. The penny is still there for some reason. Alright, we are down in the depths of the unknown. Welcome back to Kathy Rain, Director's Cart, Part 15. So, we're in some kind of... I think they described it as another dimension. Uh, it kind of almost looks like what a sort of parallel universe because this is, um, apart from the fact that this is an escalator, this is looks like um, old Granny's house. Um, but uh, more spooky. Um, hmm, it's like a guest book. Joseph Rain, Eileen Summers. Grandpa's name, my name, and Eileen's name are listed here. Hmm. I wonder if this is all just some kind of uh, <laughs> weird trip. Okay. There was a pen hidden inside. I mean, that would be a good explanation. Oh. <gasps> what was that? Um, <coughs> it'd be a, a perfectly good explanation. She, um, she's tripping off that red flower. Seems a lot Looks more. Looks like Grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. More logical. What the? Oh. C'est moi. You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Sounds different You like though. what we did to mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. Evil Kathy? Mom? She's here? <laughs> you don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay in chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. Hmm. Gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? What the hell was that? It was creepy, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, guess we're going to number two. Why? Because the walkthrough told me to. <laughs> Alright, okay, so this is the uh, Black Cats Club bar hangout. Ooh, blood. I don't even want to think about what happened there. It al it always looks like the sofa is bleeding. Um, like they cut the sofa and it's bleeding. Wires. Oh, vines. vines. There's a cluster of vines growing here. Could be used as a rope, but uh, I'm not sure what for. Hmm. That thing looks alive. Well, let's get out of here. A jukebox Ooh. broken by the. I thought maybe we could play something spooky. Oh. No, I don't think that's anything. More gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Um, the fact that they're outside the window? <laughs> it's a little bit... It reminds me a little bit of the cube. Or was it just the cube? That movie. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? 
Oh, and this reminds me of, of course, aliens, but there's this, uh, in, in Duke Nukem, you find women who kind of look a bit like this. Bloody wall. Mom? Mom? Mom, can you hear me? Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. It doesn't sound good. Let me talk to you a lot about Americanisms. How did Americans get M O M from M U M? It's probably just, I guess, the way that they pronounce mum as mom. I guess the the O spelling sound is more close to their accent. That must be it. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. The scalpel. Cut her down. Oh, I gotta go. Not on mum. On the vines, yes. It's not your mum though. You do realise that you're There you go, mom. Either you in okay? a dimen different dimension or you're tripping. <laughs> no. Yeah, I told you. Oh, quick. Stab it. Oh. I had no choice. I had to put you away. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. Hmm. I forgive you. Hmm. <laughs> oh God, get me out of this place. Gabby has some real damage. I think I've said that before, but. Mm. Um. What is this? A refrigerator. There's a weird scarab thing in there. There's also something here on the door itself. Hopes in jar. An inkia heart. Rule me nemesis. Oh no, is this some kind of anagram? I am the worst at anagrams. Like, I am a puzzle person. I like puzzles. Uh, you know smarter than your average bear but like anagrams my brain just does not do i know some people could look at like a word and be like oh that's an anagram gram of blah blah but i just it takes nah i can't do it even when i have like a pen and paper and i'm like writing it down yeah i can't um let's see i just took a photo of that because it says, <laughs> note the letter values. So I wonder if that means it changes. Otherwise, why would you? Anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't even want to look. By thing pretending to be my mom. <gasps> Un carte postale. Une carte postale? <laughs> Catherine Rainhall, care of the sinkhole <laughs> Cornwell Woods. Hi baby girl, living the life over here in Mexico. I have a new family now and I've forgotten all about you. Well, I mean, I don't think she liked her dad very much anyway. I don't regret leaving you for a second since your mum was a whore and I never, never loved you anyway. All the best, dad. I don't know if it was... Was she cheating on him? Or is that just like calling her a biatch? Oh. You killed mom. That wasn't mom. It was some kind of monster. So you said you wanted to kill her. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, dad. No, it can't be. Oh, hey, it's daddy. Who's He's a black your hat. Daddy now, bitch. Um, well, it seems like if you had access to your mom and dad, Stay it away from turned me. out weird. Maybe it's better that Kathy doesn't. Quick, get away from zombie dad. Oh, 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 oh. No, Kathy. Oh. Oh. Good riddance. Oh, jeez. Zombie I've been daddy. angry with you for as long as I can remember. I've hated you more than words can say. 
I will never forgive you, Dad. But I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. So, is she angry because he left? Or is there something else? Hello, daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. There are so many things I wish I could say to you. You have two brothers and a sister here. They always ask about you, their big sister in the USA. Leaving you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Please forgive me, Dad. <sighs> I don't know. I yeah. Hmm. I feel like some people grow up with one parent and they're not completely damaged about it, and other people get really damaged about it. I guess it depends on the circumstances. Um. Alrighty. There are two padlocks here. One requires a key. The other is a combination lock. Okay. Code is near. So I guess that's from the Scrabble. Um, oh, it's telling me the number. Anyway, I didn't have to take a photo. Here we go. And... The door is sealed with a thick chain attached with a padlock. Okay, I need a padlock. Let's go on another adventure. Oh, this is um the uh, lakeside cabin. More, More creepy gears, gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Broken link crank casket static. So I guess I'm supposed to go over here and do something with the, the... chain. Looks broken there. Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. Oh. Okay. I was supposed to pick something up off the ground. A bad luck. Alright. Going back down to level one, I think. Yeah, I mean, like I'm I'm a parent. Being a parent is tough, man. It's it's really hard. Um and you, you never really understand this padlock might be useful. The, I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. The extent of that until you've actually had a kid. And I used to hear people say that and be like, how hard could it be?" Like <laughs> um Westies raise kids, how hard could it be? Like, Westies, um, I guess like Bogans. Oh no, that's another Australianism. I, uh, hillbillies, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I guess, yeah, people who aren't that well off, people who have struggled socioeconomically, how hard could it be? But no, actually, it is a lot of work, if only because if you're a half decent parent, it just like consumes so much of your life. Um, indentations, color skit. Oh, that's from the cage. From spikes on the cage. Damn, it's nailed shut. Uh, so I'm doing this because the walkthrough told me to, but I, damn, like, how would you know how to do that? I... There was a key hidden inside the scarab. Um, yeah, so kids, um, take up a lot of your time, yes. Um, and you know, I've done a lot of hard things in my life. I'd, I've done a law degree, I've done a master's, I wrote a book, 
Like seriously, nothing. That's just no. no. <laughs> To kill a newborn man, if you're breastfeeding a newborn, they like need to be fed every two hours. Like, there's no time to. I just don't even know how people like survive and get through. I don't know how any of us are here. Like, <laughs> the, the amount of. Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? The amount of effort it takes to to keep a newborn alive like it's a miracle anybody is actually here <laughs> it's a miracle anyone made it to adulthood because yeah just like yeah it's just so difficult um but maybe that's just me you know there are some people who are just like natural parents and are just you know love the whole process and it's they just love kids and that's their life and you know more power to you all right so what am i doing here pick up the chain on door mm -hmm. attached pick up chain attach use chain on elevator no mm. okay attach chain should no use I'll you use the padlock a sturdy iron padlock this should be pretty hard to break okay Um, All right, we should be good to go. Okay. Um, I guess we make the elevator go now, right? Alrighty. Are you in there, Granny? Granny? Where are you? No, she's not there. Oh, Dark Seed. Particularly Dark Seed 2. I didn't play Dark Seed 1, but Dark Seed 2. Um, where the the guy, Michael, he um The gears follow me wherever I go. He goes into the kind of like I can't remember what it's called, it's been so long, but like the a shot of a corpse keeps alternate by. universe and it's all like it's like this, it's like his house, but it's all like HR Gigerish. Geiger? Geiger. Geiger? Geiger. HR Geiger. Uh, okay, nothing but static. TV. Just like everything else in this place. Uh. Ooh, who that? No, it can't be. Oh. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. You found our shared truth. Well done. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. Well, he's dead. I'm afraid that's not possible. Upon my death, I knew I was finally free. I felt myself pulled away from here. But then I saw you on that screen. I chose to remain until we could meet one last time. Was he the one talking to what the crimson one? What is this one? horrible place, Grandpa? I feel like I'm dreaming, but I'm not. I don't even know what's real anymore. <sighs> I can only give you my pointless theories, which range from everything between divine punishment and a mindless force of nature. What truly matters is not what it is or where it comes from, but what it does. It takes each of our fears, every source of guilt, and turns them against us. When I came here, I had hubris. I thought I was the one who could beat it. I thought I could kill it somehow. Like all those men I butchered in the war. I was wrong. 
so it's pointless. We can't stop it? I believe there is a way. The red flowers, Kathy. I've come to understand that they anchor this realm to the real world. When you make it out of here, you need to destroy them. You need to burn them all. Burn them all! If I'm right, this place will be ripped away. But if I do that, what will happen to you? Don't worry about me. I'll just go where dead people go. There are worse things than dying, kid. <laughs> Believe me. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. We don't have much longer. Remember what I said. And stay strong. I... Grandpa! You can get through this, Kathy. Is that static speaking in wingdings? <laughs> this wasn't here before. What else is on TV? Hmm. A crowbar. Looks like a crowbar taped on some kind of wooden surface. Yep, yeah, thanks for the seeing impaired. We now know. Um, I thought I was inside the TV, but I guess not. Uh, the desk. A uh, bureau. Mm. This desk does look similar to what I saw on the TV. Found a crowbar taped under there. Nice. Now the fun begins. You know, it's a party when they bring out the crowbar. <laughs> Is it me? Am I in the casket? Oh, it's my son. Do you see? Oh, yeah. I don't it's got want to sips. see. Do you see? Oh. Yes, kid. Oh. I see. <laughs> Do you know who I am now? Yeah. I don't like this. I want to go home. I figured that out a little while You'll ago. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? Well, it sounds like they've actually got a kid doing this voice. It's pretty cool. Um, do I regret what I did? No, I don't. I have done nothing wrong. I just feel sadness. I took away a part of me, eliminating a possible future. Part of me does. I wish things could have been different. I just couldn't repeat the mistakes my parents made. I don't know. Um, I feel like one of these two. Part of me does. I wish things could have been different. Yeah, let's go with that one. Part of me one. does. I wish things could have been oh, different. Oh, am I supposed to answer in a particular way? But I can't change the past. It's time for me to let you go. No. Bye, son. Bravo! Bravo! That was just ugh, hard. Is this what gets you off? Tormenting people? Watching them squirm? Oh, no. Our only delight is watching you burn away the pain and rise from the ashes. And oh, how you have risen, Kathy. Sounds like You're therapy. so fucking pleased with me. Let Eileen go. <laughs> oh, well, here's a little secret. 
Eileen Summers was never really in our grasp. Souls of her nature are like greasy little piglets to us. They keep slipping away. We are only concerned with those who truly long for our embrace. People like you, Kathy. For only what is shattered needs mending. You can fuck off. I'm not some broken thing for you to toy with. <laughs> Whether you accept it or not, you are mended, Kathy. The collapse comes next. The collapse? <laughs> Hurry now, Mender. The path is clear, but your bubble is about to burst. I have to get the hell out of here. Quick, run. Where do I go? Why is she sauntering? <laughs> Shit. Oh. Why are you still walking, okay. Kathy? Now what? Now jump down the hall. I can't go. believe I'm doing this. Go in the hall. No. You! You have ruined everything! Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? You again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. Negativity? You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Get the hell out of my way. No! You look a bit pale. No! I am the original! I am! This can't be happening! I'm speechless. That's a first. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's where his, <laughs> his dad dropped. Okay, I'm supposed to look at this. What came before must come again. Uh. Great. What if... The... What? Oh no, I missed what she said! It's already pushed in. Oh, I think I did this wrong. Damn. Guess yeah. I didn't push the right ones. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That was my, ba my bad. The grave. Top grave. Second grave from the right. And uh, oh, there we go. I don't. It's a, a shaft. I don't remember down. this. Grave business. Oh, here we go. Ah, shit. Ouch. Just a little bit longer, Kathy. You can make it. Oh, quick. Oh, I thought. Go! Run! Stop walking! <laughs> She's still walking. Jeez, lady. How can you stay so calm? Oh, my eyes. Ugh. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. Okay, so it was a dream? Sea of flowers. Um, that would be... Uh... La Mer de Fleurs. That should be enough. La Mer de la Fleur. Alright. Burn them all! He tells me to burn things. <laughs> Damn. That's a strong smell.
Everyone in town started Shit. hallucinating. Should have stayed clear of that smoke. Oh, did I die? Ah, uh, what? Was that wrong? I'll run, Kathy, run! Uh. Oh, fuck. I gotta get out of here. Quickly! Um... I guess I'm... Oh. Seems new. God, there you are, girl. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you get an achievement if you leave on the fiery bike. Nice. Ah, fiery finale. That's the achievement. Of course. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God. Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry. But I remember this terrifying dream. You know, like one of those fever dreams? Something was chasing me. I kept slipping away, but no matter what I did, it kept coming. Sounds scary. It was. And after that, the next thing I remember is waking up on this couch. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. <gasps> Welcome home, son. Ugh, why would he do that? guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. He was a coward. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. Well, it's not stupid. You did get to talk we to him. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there will be a next time? Well, that's, uh, if Kathy becomes an investigative journalist, I guess you could be her secretary. <laughs> well, there we go. That was Kathy Rain Director's Cut, and I did not unlock all the bikes. <laughs> so, um, uh, I will say that um, it's, you know, it's a shame that you can't kind of use them for longer. I also didn't get all the achievements, so maybe if I had um, 
done that, I would have unlocked more of the bike designs. I don't know. I thought I was following the uh, the walkthrough pretty closely, but I guess not. I mean, let's face it, there were plenty of times where I misread it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Nally J out.